Today we will be learning the preparation of potassium dichromate. Formula is K2Cr2O7. It's an orange colored crystal which exists as an ionic compound with two K plus ions surrounded by Cr2 O7 2 minus. This is a structure which is having an angle of 126 degree. Here two tetrahedras are joined through one corner. Now the preparation of potassium dichromate. It is prepared from chromite ore. Chromite ore is FeO Cr2 O3. So chromite ore on fusing with sodium carbonate solution in the presence of air gives sodium chromate this is a yellow colored solution which on acidification gives sodium dichromate this is a yellow colored solution and the sodium dichromate solution on filtering is treated with potassium chloride to form potassium dichromate. These are the relevant equations for the preparation of potassium dichromate from chromite ore. First, Chromite ore on treatment with sodium carbonate in the presence of air forms sodium chromate along with ferric oxide and carbon dioxide. This sodium chromate on acidification with sulfuric acid forms sodium dichromate along with sodium ions and water. And in the next step, sodium dichromate is treated with potassium chloride to form potassium dichromate along with sodium chloride. Now coming to the main reaction of chromates and dichromates. We find that chromates and dichromates are interconvertible. What do you understand by interconvertible? You find chromate ions with the formula CrO42- on acidification will be converted to dichromates. We will see how to balance the equation. Now check the uh, number of chromium atoms on the left side. Only one. What about this side? Two are there. So make it two. So what will be the uh, balanced equation? Two chromium, two chromium. Oxygen becomes 8 here, we have only 7. That means we have to add a molecule of water. So then the number of hydrogens become unequal on both sides. So you add the required number of H plus ions here. So this is the balanced equation. Check the balanced equation now. So here you find that 2 chromium, 2 chromium, oxygen 8, Oxygen total 8, hydrogens 2, hydrogens 2. Now you find that this is having 2, oh, 2 into 2 total 4 ions, uh, 4 negative charges are there plus 2, 2 charges total 2 minus this side also 2 minus. So this is the balanced equation. Now coming to the next one, cr 2 minus in the presence of a base will be converted to cr 42 minus that is dichromates will be converted to chromates in basic medium. How to balance this equation? How many chromiums here? 2. This side only 1. Make it 2. So how many oxygens this side? Total 8. Here only 7 are there. Now it should be in a basic medium. So you add OH minus on the left side. So how many OH here? Uh, only 1 OH. So this side we don't have hydrogens. Add H2O. So 2 hydrogens are required for which we will make it as 2 OH minus. So total oxygens will become 9 here. It is again 9. Hydrogen become 2, 2. Chromium 2. Chromium 2, oxygen 9. So it's uh, atom wise it's balanced. Now what about the charge? Charge here is 2 minus and 2 minus total negative 4. This side 2, mi 2 into 2 minus. So it is negative 4. So this is the balanced equation. Hope it is clear. Now coming to the next compound.
The second compound which I am going to deal with is potassium permanganate. It has the formula KMnO4. It is a purple colored crystal and this will have the structure K plus and MnO4 negative. So MnO4 negative you find one negative charge is there and we have double bonds here. So it will have uh, resonance in the structure. Preparation of potassium permanganate. It is prepared from pyrolysite ore. Pyrolysite is MnO2. On fusing it with potassium hydroxide in the presence of air, it will be converted to green colored potassium manganate with the formula K2MnO4, which on acidification will be converted to potassium permanganate. The relevant equations are MnO2 plus KOH and oxygen gives K2MnO4 and water. This green colored K2MnO4 on acidification undergoes disproportionation to form potassium permanganate, manganese dioxide and water. Now coming to the commercial preparation of potassium permanganate. It is again prepared from pyrolysite ore on heating it with potassium hydroxide in the presence of an oxidizing agent. It can be free supply of air or an oxidizing agent like potassium nitrate. On heating you get potassium manganate which is a green colored substance. This green colored substance on electrolytic oxidation will be converted to potassium permanganate. Now coming to the laboratory preparation. Laboratory preparation of potassium permanganate is done with per sulfate solution. When manganese ions are reacting with Per sulfate solution, it forms potassium permanganate sulfate solution in the presence of acid. So this is an ionic equation given and this helps you to understand the preparation of potassium permanganate in small amounts. Now we'll see what happens to potassium permanganate on heating? Potassium permanganate has the formula KMnO4. On heating it, it will be converted to green colored potassium manganate, manganese dioxide and oxygen. So we find 2K is there. So it is 2K. MnO4 total 8. Hope it is clear.